You guys want to argue about I, who gets to do the intro? No, Charlie goes Yeah, first. Charlie, I was going to say as well. I was about to fight you guys to do the intro. Uh, <laughs> welcome to the official podcast. <laughs> this is episode 140. Coming to you live bright and early in the morning. Uh, Jackson has some very interesting news from what I'm told. What? What? Uh, um... It's okay, Jackson. Just God, that's ahead. pathetic. That's pathetic. I give you this banger <laughs> of an to, intro, and you can't follow it. How was I meant to come it? up? <laughs> how was I meant to come up with something on the spot? This isn't an oh, improv you're show. You're telling me your life isn't interesting enough. You can come up with amazing news on the spot. Come on, yeah, that's just fucking. It literally sad. isn't. Jesus. Um, uh, the robots are now racist. Apparently, I read about that. Yeah. Just before I saw that too. Have you guys you seen that? Too? Too? What do you mean now? It? So They've they're saying that racist. because most robots, you know, the kind you see in factories and also the kind they just make for fun, the walking ones and shit, they're all white. So somebody claimed that this is racist because, you know, I don't know, I guess you're well, making hey, all hey, robots hey, white. Isn't, isn't that also really not true because a lot of them are bright yellow for safety reasons? What one's a bright yellow? I know you a lot of I know a lot of dummies, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, crash yeah, tests are some robots. Oh, I'm robots think, I thought you meant like the robotics in the factory that like assemble the machines. You mean and the parts. arms? Yeah, I thought they meant. The the, I thought they meant all the robots, not just oh, no. the well, android like shit. Well, I yeah, guess no, they like, do count as robots. Yeah, the those are robots. Like they're shit. not. They're not considering all robots. Robot lives matter. They're not. Okay, considering I guess they're all considering. They're talking about mostly, I suppose the. Uh, android humanoid looking ones like the one DARPA builds and they're all white so they're saying hey there's no diversity here why I don't know what they're supposed to do give them different skin colors like sell Mexican robots and Asian robots like have different models with different See, skin colors what do you want that was, that's their, the, that was their advice that's the funny part too because most of these robots are made in Asian countries like Japan like they're not even primarily white why would they do that well, the, 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 the researchers, because this was like a university study or something, the researcher claimed, at least as far as I remember, that because these robots would eventually be used in places of like authority and admiration, like school teachers, <laughs> he, he, he was sort of a whole things. bunch of what? occupations that robots could take the place of, that that society would then place more um, admiration upon things that are white. And he said that was dangerous to I, other races, especially in such volatile times. I so think that was his, at least that was his reasoning that I read. Uh, I think before. we've discovered the stupidest human being on the planet. Uh, yeah, A literal moron. So this guy, his name is Christoph Bartnek. Sounds like a fucking Simpsons character. He says the bias against black robots is a result of bias <laughs> against African Americans. <laughs> Lead researcher Christoph Bartnek explained. He told CNN, it is amazing to see how people who have no prior interaction with robots show racial bias towards them. <laughs> oh my god. Oh Anyone my can god. be is a professor. A, so this huh? is this is the type of man who would go to the ice cream parlor and notice more people want vanilla over chocolate and go, oh, you fucking racist. Yeah. I see how it is. Is this a real, like, researcher or is it just like a yeah, Twitter guy? Was, really? This isn't, no, I didn't pull this out of my ass. This is on CNN. I mean, it's CNN, wow. so take it with a grain of a pile of salt, right. actually, but... But he's an actual researcher. The, the, the guy is an academic. Yeah, in yeah. bullshit dynamics, uh, this guy's a fucking fraud. <laughs> Holy fuck. A study conducted by Human Interface Technology Lab in New Zealand and published by the country's University of Canterbury. I guess that's where he works. As a, yep. an actual hired, paid, uh, as in he gets a monthly paycheck researcher and he's sitting there saying, yeah, you know, robots kind of racist, Wally, racist. Why wasn't Wally a black think, woman? Do you think he maybe just had a deadline to meet? Like he was frantically scrambling at his job in the last hours because he had to <laughs> file a report and he just didn't know what to say. He didn't expect it to get picked up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what do you, what do you got to for me? The, uh, the, the robots <laughs> are uh, racist? And then they just ran with it. Oh my god, this study is awesome. So the robots used in the study are clearly robots but have human-like limbs and a head with exterior complexions that are white, which is to say pinkish, or black, really deep brown. 
In the shooter bias test, black and white people and robots appeared on a screen for less than a second, and participants were told to shoot those holding a weapon. Black robots what? that were not holding weapons were shot more than white ones not <laughs> carrying guns. <laughs> maybe there was something to this. <laughs> yeah, maybe he's right. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd they conduct the study? The headquarters of the KKK? <laughs> that is really Why? Funny. What was the reasoning behind that? Uh, they just wanted to shoot black robots? That's fucking <laughs> wild. That's pretty funny. I'm completely for uh, uh, this research now. I'm interested. What What is the reasoning behind that? So, well, I, I guess mean, maybe it is just racism. This, just I feel like he, he mixed up robots with regular racial bias testing, which isn't reliable or reproducible but this just it reads so funny i like it i'm guessing if they're robots and they're black they would probably shoot because they i don't know look like a gun or look like a weapon what? at what? first glance i mean what? so they what said that, that the, they said the image was on screen for less than a second imagine you out of the most peripheral of your vision and quickest of reflexes identify a black object and someone says look for the gun black people you know aren't objects you son of a bitch of course they're not, but those robots are, and I, I will fight to the oh. death for that. No robot rights. Here we go again. No robot rights. Here we they go again. Vote, damn it. <laughs> Getting on your fucking soapbox. Preaching segregation. See, I, I, don't, I can think of just as many other colored robots. So like, you, you remember those robots that uh, punch each other in, in that little board In Rock'em yeah. <laughs> they're red. They're always red and blue. You got the, the yellow uh, walk, the... the the robot that opens the door in Boston Dynamics, he's yellow. You got C-3PO, which is gold. There's so many different colored robots, I just don't understand. Now, Jackson, you might be surprised to hear this, but it's almost like he's selectively picking and choosing things that support his bias. That wouldn't make sense. No, he's full of integrity, and his research is totally legitimate. <laughs> Imagine a world in which well, all Barbie be. dolls are white. Imagine a world in which all the robots working in Africa or India are white. Further imagine that these robots take over roles that involve authority. Clearly this would raise concerns about imperialism and white supremacy. So this guy is worried that what a white robot is going to get elected president in like Turkey and it's going to be a white supremacist government because we're going to program the robot to be whitey. Isn't it crazy to you guys that before we even like as as a society have the conversation or debate about whether robots deserve rights, we start arguing about their, <laughs> if it's racist, <laughs> what color they are. It goes race before sentience, apparently. <laughs> That's pretty wild to me. Yeah, I love that too. Like we're going to have flying cars and now here we are arguing about if it's racist to have a white blender in your kitchen. God, uh, that's really. This funny. leads to me anyway. Andrew, do oh, sorry. Oh, go, go ahead. Go. Continue. <laughs> no, 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 you go. <laughs> no, no, no. I'll go. Andrew, did you have anything to add? Uh, <laughs> we could start my corner if you want to start. Yeah, out. that's what I was gonna say. Wait, Jackson, don't you have a corner too? Uh, we'll do that later on in the show. Yeah, <laughs> my, mine's ready, supposed to be. Well, it's, it's funny because <laughs> no the, the last three episodes we've started on topics, but I created my coin corner as like a, a topic starter, a place to get us going. So yeah. mine's for like that's the why, beginning of the show. That's why I wanted Andrew to go so that we could just keep talking as much as we want. And then I can kind of ease my show in there at the end when we're losing steam. Yeah, I think you meant to say friend. so you can urban dictionary a bunch of Australian terms right now. <laughs> last minute. <laughs> yeah, he didn't prep. I can send you the photo of my little text document I've got here, but I'm not going to because it'll give away the answers. Oh, that's so cute. You had to that's write so out gay. the definition yourself right, Chubb, so you respect couldn't forget. the jingle. I love how over your mic on Discord, it just sounds like absolute shit. Sounds like it's coming through a ham radio. Yeah. <laughs> the quality oh. just takes a nose dive. I don't know why. It's only over Discord. Yeah, so Discord down mixes <laughs> everything to mono, which means if this is stereo, yeah. I didn't check it out, but... That very yeah, well might be that. it. Um, All right. Yeah, oh yeah, go. This is, this is uh, our, our favorite corner... Getting to know the boys where I ask the boys an open-ended question. If you at home want to send me a question to ask my, my fellow best friends here, 
You can find my personal Twitter at Hugbees TV, but you can also send it on our disc, our Patreon Discord server, on the Patreon itself, the subreddit, anywhere you can get us to see stuff. You know where our channels and avenues are. This question was put together as a team effort from Twitter user <laughs> Vladivius Irvin. Uh, that's that's a hard one. Vald Ivius Irvin, something like that. And together we made this question all nice and smoothed out. And here it is, boys. If you could know the answer to one unanswerable question, what would it be? Could be anything from what is the meaning of life? Is there a God? Is there life after death? Or just who stole your Doritos in mm. elementary school? But you only get one. Oh, man. I do want to go something really basic, like what's going to happen after death, just so I can prepare for that kind of reality. But I also want to know if there's some kind of greater purpose to life or if this is just some kind of cosmic experiment. What but I pussy. also really want to know, who's going to be the raid boss in Destiny 2 Shadow Keep? <laughs> mm. And then you can that's start an strategizing. Yeah. And then I can start preparing for that so but that our th world first attempt. Hey, I said unanswerable. A... That's eventually going to have an answer. I'm talking about like questions that you will probably in your lifetime never find out. This is such a... Well, Hmm. Shitty. Uh, so cruel. Like, what is. Why would you even make <laughs> us think about this? That's a shitty question. That's on you. Well, there's, you. Only like, there's only like three or four unanswerable questions in the. Like, that I can think of up Yeah, the top who's of my to head, say though? we wouldn't eventually answer what the meaning behind life is? Well, Everything is eventually answerable because the universe is expanding at an infinite rate. There's infinite potential, Andrew. Dumb well, question. Well, hang on. There's also personal questions you'll never have answered. Imagine that you were in the fourth grade and had your bike stolen. You will probably, very, very likely, never figure out who did it. But it's technically answerable. Exactly. Just like okay. Jackson the question Shadow Keep it. Yeah. Okay, fine. Yeah, the, Let's... the question I want answered is, why'd you come up with such a dumb question? That's unanswerable. Hey, I literally <laughs> said the Twitter username who sent in this question. Bannon. Oh, that's convenient. Yeah, oh, yeah, isn't that just one of your fucking sock puppet accounts? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that was getting to know the boys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is just a shitty ploy to plug your Twitter. Like, oh, how can I promote it? Like, shit, I need a question. <laughs> what would you want to know you can't know? <laughs> I think it's a good question. I like what it. Do you, what do you lead the way, Andrew? Oh, I, yeah. I, I would absolutely choose whether or not there's a god. Because I think if there, we get the answer, if there is one, we can finally find the right religion to worship. And if there isn't, we can focus on human pursuits. I, yeah, I think that we would end so the most So everyone is getting this answer, or is it just you? Because if it's just you, no one's going to believe you. Yeah, that nothing, just makes you a prophet. Nothing substantial is going to change. That's a good yeah. point. Shit. All right, this is a bad question. Ooh, <laughs> yikes. <laughs> there you go. All right, that was getting to emoji. know the boys. Today we learned that none Wait. of them like this question. No, Charlie and Kai can still answer the question I answered. Well, what was your final answer? The Shadow Keep raid boss? No, I, I, genuinely, I would, I would want to know what I think what's after death. Because I think that would give me a lot of comfort if any any of my relatives die. Although I guess it also could not give comfort if the answer is bleak. Mm. Like, I don't think I would like to know if there's literally nothing after death. Or maybe it's some kind of infernal hell after death and it's just... That's even worse. That would be pretty awful, mm. yeah. I can't really think of what I'd really want answered if you're already asking if there's a god and Jackson's already asking who the Shadow Keep raid boss is. That kind of covers all the bases that I would kind of bark on. <laughs> Maybe I'd ask what happens after the universe expands, like, you know, the big crunch or whatever, if that's real. Ooh, like what's going to end? Mm -hmm. That's the opposite of Or if crunch. existence is going to end. Hmm. I like that. Or maybe... Does, does asking, like... For a way to be super successful, count as an unanswerable question. Like a a cheat code. I'd yeah. say yeah. so. No. You you have no way in life to guarantee that you know how to be successful. I, don't, I mean, it depends on what you define by success, but we all know what it means. You get up at six a.m. and go on a run, and then actually put your back into your work, and you'll do it. It's not as if hard work doesn't pay off, but that's such a. 
Oh, yeah. That would be really lame if you asked that question. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. it's just motivational advice that you get back. The way, <laughs> yeah, no. the way that I took this question. 100 push-ups a day. The way that I took yeah. this question is. Hang in there. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of, you know, unknowns, a lot of big questions to the universe. Which one really tickles your fancy? That's all. So do you, do you still want something unanswerable? I mean, what? it doesn't. You, you don't it? have to take the question exactly as written. Again, the way I took it is uh, okay. Let's just big let me answer and we can bury the yeah. stillborn. I would really like to know if aliens are real and to what degree. I think they exist. They have to at at these odds as big as the universe is. But I want to know to what degree. Like, how advanced are they? I want to know how many civilizations there have been, how advanced they were technologically speaking. Were they in the space age? Where are they just little microbes that we're one day stumble upon? I really, I think about that a lot. I really want to know. It would be amazing to just, now that's diversity I can get, you know, excited about is I really want to meet an alien. That would be so cool. It would be pretty cool. Unless they're bad. Then it won't. Yeah. What cool. if they hate you? What if they think you're annoying? I think I'm the bigger asshole. So I don't know. <laughs> I feel like they'd be w the worried ones. <laughs> I am Turkish German. I have two genocides on my belt notches here. That's probably nothing compared to what aliens have going, though. Yeah. <laughs> you, you think Hitler was bad? You have not seen Scarthax the Conqueror. That's true. Or Xerulon? What, what's the Scientologist one? Xenu. 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 Thank Zinu. you. Yes. Yeah. I was about so, uh, to say Xerxes. Put, put a bunch of fucking alien souls into 737s and dump them in volcanoes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Jackson, are you ready yet, or do you need a little bit more time? Well, you don't follow. Yeah, why do you want to go into the, yeah, all the corners? Don't, don't follow a corner with a corner. That's no, a cardinal well, sin. Follow it with an ad. Well, okay, I was excited for it. Fuck you guys, then. All right. I, we can talk about <laughs> something else. He just wants to win. You just want to make I, up a point deficit. No, it genuinely humors me. I think it's a great corner. I found it funny. It was a big hit on the bonus episode where we, um, that's where it piloted it. Show. Yeah, which is on patreon.com slash the official podcast. Go check it out. It's called Whoop Whoop, which apparently is far out somewhere in space, according to Australians. We have a problem, boys. Um, I this, I realized this as I was pulling the latest voicemails is our fans don't know how to roast us. How to insult us. <laughs> it kind of started to bother me. So so here's the problem. You guys know on my Twitter, I, I have this group photo of us. On my I almost delete every fucking tweet eventually, except the ones I'm really fond of, like the photos of my cats and that group photo. I just can't bring myself to removing those. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the replies on that photo, like nine out of ten replies are fucking Charlie is so short. Holy shit, Charlie is short. Oh my God, Charlie is oh, so man. short. We, we, talked roast, but, we yeah, talked about this. Yeah, but I'm going someplace else. This is not long like, ago. That's great. Every comment is a copy paste from the previous one, which is I don't know why you could have just liked the previous person's tweet saying that Charlie's short and just co-signed it, right? Except, but instead, you had to jump on it. So the way our fans roast us is Charlie is short, Andrew's annoying, Jackson doesn't talk, Kaya's an alcoholic. It's just statements of facts, but that's not a joke. Saying Charlie is so short is like if you left a your mama is so fat joke right off at the middle. Your mama is so fat. Yeah. Your mama is so fat, she she has chronic health problems. Got him. That is something Andrew Anything, and I talked about at Beefo Brady's yeah. not long ago. It's on the still internet. A I was just gonna say on the internet, every single like attempt at a roast or like an internet comedy joke is usually just like a complete copy and paste of what they read earlier. So, yeah. like, the clown emoji, shit like that, just whatever requires the least amount of effort to feel like they in, uh, jumped so in that, on I don't a think roast. we're talking about the same problem. That's the problem, too, that it's the same thing repeated. But my problem is it's they leave it at the setup line, and they never deliver on the punchline. Well, they Your don't, because so they don't, ha they don't have to. Charlie is so short. Charlie's so short that what? They don't, they don't have to, though. That's the thing, because it's, it's how the Internet works. You don't need to tell jokes anymore. You just need to have relatability. So if you go, I noticed that Charlie is short, everyone else will go, oh, my God, I saw that, too. Upvote. Oh, you're so witty. And yeah, that's it. So, OK, let me play this voicemail. This is I just 
Okay, let me play it first and I'll comment on it. Hi, this is a message for both the official podcast and Who's Right podcast. Uh, Andrew, you're tall and your laugh sucks. Charlie, you're short and your legs are really weird. Kaya, you're a foreigner, you're a boomer, and you're an alcoholic. So all the bad things there. Statements of facts. See how there's no so punchline? Jackson line? didn't even get facts. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's the most insult that there is. <laughs> It's so literally just Andrew, Man. you're annoying, Charlie, yada yada, right? Guys, okay, this, so I want to, just to put the cherry on top, this is the smoking gun. I will set this clip up. Let me tell you, the so Doug and Anthony, they're collectively, if you add their ages, they're well north of 100, okay? And even they recognize this, and you guys are going to see what I mean. What the fuck did you just say to me, oh, you little bitch? Well, as you know, I graduated top of my class in the Navy Seals, and I've been involved. No, in no, Jesus no, Christ! Oh, you get some oh. fucking copy pasta from 4chan. Oh. That's what that's what you're calling into the show with. Oh, that's so fucking stupid. How embarrassing is it? Oh. Come on! Even when two boomers recognize your joke as a lame internet copy pasta, you know your joke is just shit. Man, we gotta Kyle, we gotta get our fans to be original. How do we do this? Uh, we can't. I, I don't, you, the internet's so ingrained into being like, you know, copy this. It's hilarious, ironically, that yeah. it's so ingrained what in what people find to be entertaining. So I'm you, thinking you guys are fucking an harmo chamber. You're harmonically resonating is. right now because this is shit I've been ranting on for months and months and months. How just the internet has gotten so homogenized and just the same content repasted over and over and over. It's so what I'm thinking, that's the show as well, though. What I'm thinking, we're, we're contributing to that. We need to exercise their funny muscles. So I want to set up a roast competition. Ooh, <laughs> oh no! I this think is a they horrible should. Horrible idea. Hey, it's worth a try, man. We gotta change this. I like people making fun of us. I enjoy it. It's super fun. You uh, making compilations of it. I have a couple more to play, but I just need them to be a little more original than "Holy shit, Charlie is short." That's not a, you know, so how about maybe they think Charlie is so perfect that that's the only flaw that <laughs> the they only, you know what, <laughs> Jackson? In my armor. You're making a joke and yet a grand chunk of his fan base is exactly like that. Well, yeah, that's yeah. like something Charlie would say, yeah. though. Maybe I'm so perfect. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. What is what did Mike ever demonstrated that kind of egotistical nature? You do that all no, the as time. a joke. I disagree. Uh, yeah, in a joking way, though. Yeah. yeah, that's what I meant. Well, just because you guys aren't on my level, I guess you can't comprehend it. So okay, listen, I'm giving, exactly. <laughs> I'm giving our audience homework. Go watch some Bill Burr. Uh, go watch those MTV roasts or whatever they are. Uh, you can Comedy leave a roast on our roast. subreddit, let's say. And if it's a good joke, a good roast, good. We'll read it on the show. You can call the voicemail. Leave a roast on our voicemail. That's 508-974-4489. And yeah, let's let's try to get a uh, you know up. Come on, take it up a notch. So, so is this is this competition taking the place of the Mario Maker competition Ooh, you shouldn't that have we drawn no. talking about? <laughs> oh yeah, that, so that, that, that so competition is all but cancelled. Knowing knowing the four of us. Oh yeah, well this guy has something to say about it again. Yo, this is for the official podcast. Uh, why aren't, are you gonna lazy fuck? Just get on the fucking Mario Maker challenge, you piece of shit. Hurry the fuck up. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. But does anyone else notice that it, I think it's the same guy calling this voicemail? Because <laughs> he's got the exact same voice every single time. I think it's literally the same person. And it's because the phone line just butchers the frequencies and it all just sounds like shit anyway. But yeah, I don't know, man. Mario Maker, I was so excited for that game and I played it for like two days and I dropped it like a turd. I get excited Did you fuck about around with the actual making of levels, or were you just yeah? I wasn't. I just wasn't creative, creative enough. I knew that you know if yeah, I really yeah. gave this a couple of hours, I could make something that's marginally entertaining. But fuck, I just don't feel like it. I don't feel like thinking uh, about a game. I I'm still really into the game and still really like it, but I only like playing levels. I I really am not motivated at all to make any. Yeah. Uh, I'll, how about this challenge? Literally any of you losers in this fucking audience defeat me in Worms Armageddon, you little bitches. <laughs> Guy is not very good at Worms, full disclosure. He just likes the game a lot. I always win. <laughs> I, well, okay, I'm not, I'm not as good as the fucking lunatic, 
human animal hybrid autistic monster Asian esport players that have been playing the game for 20 years. Who these guys have clan videos on YouTube and they're so fucking bonkers. Are there like MLG style kill montages of worms? Everything, everything. And Holy I can shit. tell you, these guys, if you somehow found a way to Matrix style put a plug in their brains, you could power cities with the autism those people have generated over the lifetime of this video game. It's incredible that this 20 year old video game that doesn't even work properly, you can't even adjust the resolution and shit unless you have install mods. It still has a pretty thriving community online playing the damn game. It's whatever. I, I you know, my neighbor came up today, actually, technically at 3 a.m. Knock him on my door. I open and I immediately go, oh, shit, you heard all the yelling, didn't you? I'm so sorry, man. Were you I, screaming at worms? You oh, I was getting excited. <laughs> no, I was doing the fucking... Oh, yeah! I, look, worms is my... Oh my he was God. slamming on his, on his wall and shit. He, no, he, he gets so excited, he worms. jumps up and down, so his downstairs neighbors just <laughs> hear banging on their ceiling. Throwing pots and pans <laughs> everywhere. Worms time when he wins. is sacred time for me. Me and my buddies in my server, we get drunk and we play worms. I enjoy it, it's fun. I really like worms. So he comes up, he's like, uh, you know, yeah, there was a the noise, man. If you could turn it, he, he was super like nice and submissive about it too, which made me feel fucking terrible. Like, I, you know, he was just super, super nice. You know how you feel bad if you hurt someone who's nice. So I felt bad mm. and he- well, It was 3 a.m. He was he totally was so tired as fuck. Extremely, I guess, discombobulated, but also awkward that he reached for a fist bump. And I was just looking at like, what is, what are you doing? I could not pass a DUI test at that moment either. Like, I, I was so fucking shit faced. I'm looking at his you fist. Stop rolling. Yeah. With him. Tell me, tell me you went for it, but <laughs> fucked up and like slapped him in the face or something. <laughs> and just kissed him on the lips. <laughs> Fuck. Muscle memory kicks in. I drunk John you Wick him. it as a threat. <laughs> yeah. Kick him down the stairs. No, I, you know, I gave him an awkward fist bump back. Like, okay. It was a super soft fist bump to just the awkward <laughs> kind. You should have you if, asked if you wanted to play some worms. If you. there is such an awkward, such a thing as an awkward fist bump, th that was it. Just like an awkward handshake. Pretty much every fist bump feels awkward to yeah, me. Fist really? bump's kind of a dying thing. I haven't seen it too it's much a douche anymore. Thing, especially but a if you do it, one. I, I if you do it, it with your body and forcefully really? like, fuck yeah, give me the fist. But this was just like, all right, man, you know, all right, here, fist, yeah? Okay. <laughs> I just don't like human contact. Yeah, uh, yeah, me neither. That well, wasn't Kaya, necessary. I know, I know what you can do to make it up to him, though. You could, could cook try him cooking meal. him. Yeah, cook him a delicious home cooked meal. That's right. This season, you can experience the joy of cooking something new and making dinner fun with Blue Apron, because Blue Apron's going to help you discover your inner chef and learn new recipes and techniques. Boys, I love cooking. And Blue Apron has exposed me to delicious recipes I wouldn't have even thought of trying before. Their menus carefully designed and tested by their test kitchen chefs who use unique specialty ingredients to bring chef quality recipes straight to your dinner table. And if you want to start making delicious brag worthy meals at home without the hassle, you can try Blue Apron. You can check out this week's menu and get $60 off when you visit blueapron.com slash official. That's blueapron.com slash official for $60 off. Blue Apron, a better way to cook. Well, we'd like to round robin some of these dishes here real quick that they're offering. So uh, this month, or uh, you can get caramelized onion and cheddar <clears throat> beyond burgers which look delicious mm -mm -mm. that's also oh yeah wow yeah that's beyond burger that's the uh that's a vegetarian hamburger right there i'm gonna i'm gonna it go ahead delicious i'm gonna go ahead and do the seared pork chops and peach salsa charlie i i guess charlie uh, all right i'll do too <laughs> steaks and sauteed <laughs> vegetables which i love this this uh can we curse during this one this stuff is easy this bleep is easy to make. I tried it 40 minutes or less. I, I think they practically guarantee it, even if not actually. I don't know. Whatever. Blueapron.com slash so official, but it is easy cuts. to make. You get all the things just delivered in the exact portions. Pre-portioned ingredients, so there's no waste at all. It's perfect. God, it, yeah, you, feel like, you always feel like such a damn mm -hmm. schmuck when you buy something at the store. 
like I, I don't know black pepper and then you come home and you realize you already had two jars of black pepper just sitting there anyway mm -hmm. no need they send you the ingredients my, uh, just for each meal perfectly also I, I pointed out the I forgot to follow it up I pointed out the vegetarian burger there because my girlfriend is vegetarian so if you out there are worried that you're not gonna have a lot of options you should give them a check out I can I can endorse it as someone who sometimes got to go through that hope Deal with or that you can hurdle. tell her stop being a pussy and eat chicken and mar marbella style pan sauce. Yeah. With vegetable orzo. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's, that's Blue Apron. That's blueapron.com slash official for $60 off. I'm I'm still jonesing for that corner, Jackson. Well, Has, uh, Jackson do uh, we can do well, we can well, we can do the corner. Well, hang on. Want. If you don't want to do it, have you seen the oh what the fuck is the name of it? The Democratic social young democrats meeting that was going around ah <sighs> you the, underestimate uh, me the democratic the democratic socialists of america meeting that was held this weekend everyone <laughs> please silence for the biggest <laughs> autism of our decade this is a conference from the democrats <laughs> of socialism of whatever the fuck if we want to defeat capitalism we are going to need a party that will organize working people to fight for the demands that we want and to win socialism thank you so much right, right uh, quick point of privilege Quick point um, of personal privilege. Yes. Um, guys, uh, first of all, James Jackson, Sacramento, he, him. I just want to say, can we please keep the chatter to a minimum? I'm one of the people who's very, very prone to sensory overload. There's a lot of whispering and chatter going on. It's making it very <laughs> difficult for me to focus. Please, can we just, I know it's raw. This is legitimate, go, by the way. Please just keep the chatter to a minimum. It's affecting my ability to focus. Thank you. Thank you, comrade. Okay, is there a speaker against name, oh, chapter, privilege. privilege? Point of personal privilege. Is this privilege? a role-playing server? Yes. Please do not use gendered language to c to address everyone. <laughs> yeah, this Holy is, shit. This is legitimate, by the way. This is not this a, is an actual. This it's is not real. A, it is not a comedy skit. It is not played up. It is an actual political conference that they held in Atlanta this week. So I love so how this even when they unified, they they infighting. They're so not they even unified. Like, they spend ninety percent of the meeting <laughs> just going, "Oh, we shouldn't do this. Oh, can we please not do this?" They get literally nothing done the entire time. They just complain about the event. It's great. It's literally just anyone who talks only does so to complain about the previous person talking. It's fucking oh, great. Also, like the yeah. one guy gets up, can we all please not talk so loud? And the other oh, guy, yeah, please, also, you please not use the word guys. <laughs> also, also, this this doesn't translate to audio, but there is no applauding allowed. Oh, there Every is. Every time... No, no, no. Any, anytime anyone speaks, they have to use deaf applauding because they don't yes. want to offend people who can't hear. So everyone wiggles oh, their hands like in the air hands? like jazz hands. <laughs> yeah. oh, so, exactly. So this guy, I have another clip. What? He gets applause out the ass, which you're not going to hear because they just do jazz hands. But the, the triggered guy about the sensory overload, he comes back. Quick point of privilege once again. Yeah. Quick point of privilege once again. Hi, James Jackson, Sacramento DSA, he, him. I have already asked people to be mindful of the chatter of their comrades who are sensitive to sensory overload, and that goes double for the heckling and the hissing. It is also triggering to my anxiety. <laughs> like, the be comradely doesn't ju isn't just for like, you know, let's keep things civil or whatever. It's so that people aren't gonna get triggered and so that it doesn't affect their performance as a delegate, okay? Your need to express yourself is important, but your need to express yourself should not trump or over Oh, he said Trump triggered. That, that, ooh, <laughs> no jazz point hands. of privilege. Point of privilege. <laughs> like, like, let's, let's, alcoholic. Before, hey, hey. before people shit down our throats on this, this is not about their political stances. That's totally different. We're making fun of how just no bafflingly. <laughs> I mean, that's a whole other argument. We're making fun of how baffling, bafflingly incompetent and how fucking all of this is so embarrassing. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. Even if yeah. you 100% agree with their their political alignment, I don't think you can possibly defend this conference just based on what I'm hearing here. <laughs> no, I'm to sensory overload. You can't you spend 95% uh, of a fucking conference just trying to set up who can speak when and how. You need fucking leadership, and they have none I mean, the, of it. The last Absolutely bit. none of it. It gets cut off there in the clip, but I don't know if you got that last bit where he says your need to express yourself doesn't trump my whatever the fuck. And that's basically where mm. these people are coming from. This entire conference is just because you have an opinion doesn't mean 
you were allowed to express it if it triggers me. What a fucking it, piece of shit. You guys remember the Libertarian uh, conference a couple of years back where one of them started stripping on stage to show just how free yeah. he was? And then another one yeah, argued yeah, yeah, yeah. that one of them got booed because he said that you shouldn't be able to sell heroin to five-year-olds. <laughs> <laughs> I, did, you know, I agree with that. That's pretty fucked up to say you can't do that. That's my main business you, model. You know what I find really funny? The fact that they've changed the whole wanting to speak with saying point of personal privilege, point of personal privilege. But then everything they say is, oh, don't do this. It upsets me. Don't do this because I don't like it. So it ends up being, oh, I want to talk about myself for a bit rather than yeah, actually what does that bringing mean? up point, the speaking point. Point of privilege? Point this of is cultist so shit. So it's point of personal privilege, which means I'm now speaking. It's my turn. It's my privilege to yeah, speak. They took the talking stick oh. at the AA meeting. Yeah. But it's so goofy because imagine you're going to like a press conference for like a, a fucking basketball player and he's like, we'll start the questions now. And imagine every reporter goes, point of personal privilege, point of personal privilege over here. My privilege. Like, Who said it first? Who the fu what, what's wrong with just saying over here? Me calling me, Mr. Mr. Whatever, Mrs. Well, look, whoever. Uh, in, in that video from the Twitter, vi uh, like the video that it, Kai got the clips from, it looks like there's a, a, a mic line in the middle. So... They're not like rushing over each other to talk because there's only one mic. It's just so weird. And a lot of conferences do that. Yeah. So why would they? I don't know. Why would they say uh, maybe it's just like a war cry or a... And <laughs> also, <laughs> not, just, not only that, war but... A greeting, perhaps? So even though he had the mic, the woman was speaking when he interrupted her with this quick point of privilege. I think that really is a privilege. So I think... It, it, point of privilege means I am privileged. I have to talk now. Yeah, maybe that's that's definitely it. It's just how does this work? How do they ever expect to get anything done when they spend the majority of it just shitting on each other? <laughs> well, you don't understand how it works, Andrew. You weren't there. This is such cultist shit. Have you guys seen that one about the one politician who made so she was in some conference or something or get together? So she makes all the white people in the audience get up, surround the black people. Put their hands on the black people and then chant an apology at the black people. Have you guys seen this? <laughs> no, holy uh, shit. Hang on, let me, let me play this real quick for you fellas. I'm going to ask the white Americans in the room to please repeat after me. <clears throat> on behalf of myself and on behalf of my country. They all have their hands on one black guy who looks shirtless. <laughs> oh, of course, they From stole the his shirt. From the of our it never nation's ends. history. In honor of your ancestors and on behalf of your children. And on and on it goes. Point is, they apologize for like two minutes doing this religious chant. But I was thinking, so was really it's creepy. very, very creepy. It's all just self-indulgent masturbation by that point of, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah, my apologies. I'm such so, a good person I'm for apologizing. Yeah, everyone else is a savage. and Oh, they're not as good as me apologizing. Oh, yeah. Mm, take that apology. It's fucking... It's it's that creepy. sounds so creepy. <laughs> that's exactly what it is. That's the path we're going to go down anyway. The lady that's doing exactly this. That's exactly what it is. That's Marianne Williamson. And I have to say, look, all politics aside, she's a gilf. Man, that woman is 67. <laughs> That's not really? what I She looks so all. good. Yeah. I don't know if it's the <laughs> angle, the lighting or what, but she always looks so damn good. She's, she's a cutie. She, she's goofy as fuck. I, lo I love listening to her. She's funny. She doesn't look she, bad. She's, yeah, you're not wrong. She's the one that was preaching about how love is going to make the world better on the democratic debate, right? Yeah. Same person? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, she's she's good looking. She got something good going on. Good good. Maybe she, these she, apologies, can, she can have my maybe these apologies lead somewhere. She can yeah, have my point younger. of personal privilege, that's for sure. Okay. I'll, I'll, Every time she apologizes, she gets a little younger. I want <laughs> everyone in the chat and you guys to put your hand over your heart. Repeat after me. On behalf of the official podcast, boys. Hello. Repeat after me. 
Okay, fine. Oh, are we I'm really? scared of where you're going with but this. But we are the official boys. <laughs> yeah, what Why the fuck does that mean? Of us? Yeah. I wanted you guys to I apologize you were to me. the audience. Oh, no. exactly. <laughs> That's why I didn't do it. I knew it. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I knew that. it. <laughs> no fucking way. Uh, you selfish pricks. <laughs> this is why racism is a thing, because you guys will not do what is necessary. <laughs> <laughs> Apologize to the worms addict. <laughs> you take that back right now. <laughs> Jackson, Jackson, can we get the corner? motherfucking corner? I, I, w I will in a second. What I want to ask first oh is my God. the jazz hand thing. The jazz hand thing at these conferences. What is the point behind that? You said it was because so deaf people could know when people are clapping. Can't they see the clap being so, anyway? So here's, like, here's the thing yeah, I, I was know. thinking on it. Um, so from what I've seen, because they did it in high school when you would do... I, I did I did fucking theater in high school. And you would do it there because you just didn't want to make a bunch of noise since people were performing in other rooms. So in a situation where you want to applaud, but you have to be quiet, it makes sense. But I just thought okay. of this. What about blind people? What if you go to the meeting and they're trying to not clap out of respect for people who can't hear? What about blind people who can't see that you're applauding? They're going to feel like no one supports them. So, yeah, this is fucking stupid. I just Googled it. Why do deaf people have a sign for clapping? And Quora, of course, some some lunatic who capitalizes the word deaf because they're a gang, you know, like the Bloods and Crips and the deaf. He says, we do this partially because we're deaf, spelled big. We don't hear the sound of clapping and therefore it's meaningless to us. And in certain situation settings, we might not see hands being clapped. Then why have the sign? It doesn't make a sound either. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't get it. It's just substituting one hand movement for the other. It's so dumb. God damn it, Unless are they are they raising their hands above their heads? It's almost so like yeah, so. it's almost I like so. no matter what you do to fucking include everyone, someone's not going to be able to completely participate, and people need to fucking live with that fact Bullshit. instead of I'm going gonna, through all these hoops. Dude, if anyone, you know, I I've been getting messages from people saying, yeah, you know, Kaya, you, those people, not all deaf people are like that. I know, and don't get discouraged by the ones that are. I'm not discouraged. I'm encouraged. I'm going to crowbar myself into that fucking gang. I'm going to learn sign language. I'm never going to get fluent in it. But I think I'm going to be get to that level where I can tell when they're talking shit about me. And I'm <laughs> staring at them. Is and, that all you're learning it for? <laughs> Defense <laughs> mechanism, just in case. That's nah, fun. <laughs> it's just for fun. It, it's interesting for me to learn new shit. But no, man, I, I'm even more encouraged now. I want to learn this. I'm going to do it. Fuck you. You don't like it? <laughs> Tough shit. I'm a deaf guy now. I am capital D E A F. I'm clapping for myself right now, but you guys can't hear or see it because I'm doing you, the deaf one. You know, that's that's fair. None of us can really prove that Kaya is or not or is not deaf. When you De really yeah, think about huh? it. Point of privilege. So how about that you... Australian corner? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> well, how about this first? Would you guys oh, okay, shut the fuck up. So when, why, when, why are you no, guys no, 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 so no, no, dumpy in this episode? When when yeah. Charlie tossed you something spontaneously for you to riff on you said you weren't ready and this isn't an improv show so now we're asking you to do something that's not supposed to be improv that you were meant to have prepared and you're still caught with your pants down what is going on well no i'm trying to lengthen this out because yeah. once this game show is done what are we going to do i think you guys are another topic this episode the three of you are this really game show is the last resort you're wanting to rush through the, everything the, the grenade that you don't want to pull the pin on to me oh, god damn it you know what, fine. I don't if, want if any If you're fun. excited to do the Australian Corner, it's, it can still wait. We still have a whole episode. We don't have to jump into everything. You don't I need dessert first. Why are we arguing? What happened to us? We used to be so tight-knit and understanding of each we other. We used to have our points of personal privilege in a row, but now... Fucking racist. Privilege is on Why are you saving us. it till the end, though? There's already two corners at the end. Then you're just sensory overloading me with corners <laughs> at the end. <laughs> 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 Jackson, do yeah. the corner. Right. We may as well. Yeah, okay. Welcome to this week's Getting Down Under with Jackson. This is a game show that I premiered last week on the bonus episode on patreon.com slash the official podcast, where we pit three contestants' knowledge about Australian slang and history to see who is the true Australian here. So this is round one. You, you, uh, you have a minute 
to shout out the term. I'm going to give you a word. You have a minute to shout out the term. If you guess the term within 30 seconds, you get two points. After that, it's one point. You'll get a hint at 30 seconds. So I'm just going to pull up a timer real quick. What do you mean shout out the term? Don't you give us the term and we give you what it means <laughs> yeah, in English? Gonna, yeah, you, wow, give me, you really are yeah, prepared. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, stopwatch. Okay, so the first word is cactus. It's I'm a cactus. <laughs> Wrong. Hedgehog. Immediately. Aggressive, no, aggressive person. No, oh, it's bitchy here. woman. No. Uh, a houseplant. N- n- no, I like that though. You basically <laughs> just said what Kai said at the start. <laughs> well, no, a cactus isn't. Well, it can be, I guess. Maybe mean drunk. No, is it? Is it spelled exactly the All same? Right, stop. Here, yeah, yeah, it's spelled exactly the same. Here's your hint. I'm going to use it in a sentence. That fuck is cactus. Oh, uh, drunk. No. Hi. An asshole. I already, no. I already said that. No. Lit. Hardcore. Cool. Dope. No. Cool guy. No. Du- um. Stupid. Idiotic. No. You're saying the same shit over and over again. Oh, see, Let's he's crippled. Out the box here. Ten seconds. Uh, he's he's crippled, covered no? in little spines and he lives in the desert. Alone. N- no. No. With a bitch. Gay. Gay. Semi-chubbed. No. Oh, I'm so disappointed. All right, that's time. I'm going to give you each one chance to uh, uh, claim this point. Andrew, you go first. What What, what do you think? <sighs> He's feeling sick. No. Oh, well, that's close. Uh, mm, that's close, but no. Can we still shout? Yeah. Uh, no, Charlie. I'll, I'll go in jack order. Charlie, give me your last chance. Maybe hungover. Mm, no, incorrect. Kaya. Dead. Dead. It means dead. If sick was close, it has to be dead. Correct. Yeah! Correct. Oh, that's fucked up. That's fucked that you said it was close because that gave him the hint. Yeah, you can't be saying uh, that. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Tough uh, shit. Yeah. I still get my point. Next time no back these. Well, that, so that doesn't count Kaya. because then you have the best advantage going last. Yeah, okay. Maybe in that in that case, you you still each get one choice, uh, like chance at the end if we run out of time, but whoever shouts out first gets to go kind of thing. Okay, sure. Or, well, just right. don't tell who was close. Yeah, yeah, it would have been fine if you didn't say I was close. Yeah, okay. So yeah, just oh, yes, and I got the point. That. Don't be a sore loser. Right, so I, I gave you the point. I gave you the point. Good. Next term is root rat. I'm starting the timer. Oh, that has to be racist. Squirrel. No. Root beer addict. No. Root rat. R double O T space R A T. A farmer. Smoker. No. No. Uh. A- <laughs> Fuck, I don't know. Like a t- like a repairman. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking like cables, maybe. I like so that. So rat actually. as in the mouse. All right. Shut up. Shut up. Here's your hint. This is used in a sentence. Yeah, she's a bit of a root rat. Whore. Gold digger. Starting the timer. Money again. Ooh, woman. Uh, woman obsessed oh. with money. Wait, what did what did Kaya say? Whore. Correct. Oh, <laughs> God, <laughs> oh, I'm nailing this. I keep going. So that's for someone addict. who enjoys sex a little bit too much, perhaps a slut. All right, final term, and this is this is one I think you should get because it's pretty common. All right, so here we go. I'm saying the timer. The term is fair dinkum. Oh, like fair play. Good on you. Like, yeah. I, I, Damn it. That has no, to be a, it. Yeah, it's 100%. It's like, a, I've heard that one. It, like, if, you know. Yeah. I'm not I'm not going with good on you. Good game? Well, like, the, fair dinkum, mate. No, it's like when you you high five a friend, it's like fair dinkum. Yeah, it's like, what I'm saying. Like, Does it mean thank after you? After a game? Agree. No. Charlie's kind of uh, no. I'm not giving that. No. <laughs> okay. Here's my, here's my hint though. Charlie's here's right. My the fucking. Um, <laughs> is it? Is it? Here's my hint. I love you. No, it's not. No. I love you. It's like no, an appreciation it's, between it's friends. Not time. I'm giving a hint. Use in a sentence. Fair dinkum. Those shoes have seen better days. Oh, that's <laughs> fair. It means that's Starting fair. Yep, he's got it. What does the fuck? Th- that is literally how I started it. Fair play is what I said. No, in the that's not what. I, no, 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 no. Not that's fair. It means I agree. Like if if you said uh, uh, if you said you know I should start working out, I'd say fair dinkum. You're looking fat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like an exclamation meaning like honestly, like I agree. Like that's yeah, 
you you have a point. It means you have a point. All right, so that's the end of the first first round. Round two. This is the person with the most points and earned in the last round gets the chance to guess which of these three places isn't a real place in Australia. This is worth one point. So Kaya, is this is this is, is on you this week. Uh, uh, isn't a real place. So two of these places that I'm going to say are real places. Okay. And one is a false place that I've expertly made up. Oh, yeah. All right. So here we go. All right. Choice number one is Humpty Doo. <laughs> choice, <laughs> choice number two is Humpy Bong. Or choice number three is Hump Me Mum. Okay. <laughs> that wasn't very expertly. There is no way it's called Hump Me Mom. Yeah. Is that your final answer? To be fair, it's definitely not Hump Me Mom. Yeah. Yeah, it is my final answer. H U M P M E M U M. What? What? I, what, what? what? I'm autistic. You get a point of privilege. You can't just spell shit out. <laughs> Is it Hump Me Mom or not? Sure All the right. fake one. It. It is. You, you got it correct. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you, you asshole. Oh, you douchebag. You, this isn't fair. This is, you're trying to discourage me from the right answer, you piece of shit. <laughs> I, would have done, I would have done the same thing if you had a guessed incorrectly. Okay. All right. So that's the, that's the end of this week's Getting Down Under with Jackson. We'll see you next week with uh, more Australian trivia. So Maybe the, new rules as well. There's two Humpty Doos in Australia. What? You hum said two of those humpty were real. Humpty Dumpty into Humpy Bong. Yeah, hum I said Humpty Doo and Humpy Bong. Those oh, are the two humpy real locations. Bong. <laughs> Why are they both called kind of the same thing? <laughs> they're not really. <laughs> yeah, they're very close. Humpty Doo and Humpty Bong. Humpty Doo and Humpy Humpy Bong. There's no. It's not Humpty Bong. It's yeah, humpy Charlie, bong. learn the nuance. God. So it's not goofy if you word. understand it. <laughs> this is <laughs> these are you're horribly like, named <laughs> your language sounds like something that the oompa loompas would talk from the chocolate factory like humpy boop a fair dingum <laughs> fair dingum let's go uh, to the humpy actually, boo and the whoop whoop <coughs> not with jessica though I'm she's curious. a whoop rat i i had a uh, a tiebreaker in case two people from the first round got the same amount of points i, I was going to use this to break it up what is a stubby a short Cough. cigarette. Uh, yeah, I was going to say a small cigar or something. No, no, not in Australia. No. Oh. Short a joint? guy? No. Stubby. I'm going to give you 10 more seconds. Short guy. Uh, uh, banana. No. Small facial hair. Toe. No. A small child. No. All right, we're going to All right, we're going to leave that one for next week. That'll be a nice cliffhanger on oh, this These fuckers week's are going to look that up. Well, of course they are. The, well, they, they, they do will, any, but they, they do no, anyway. This, who cares? Scouts, I'm talking about scouts you, Andrew. Yeah, wait, wait a yeah. minute. You you don't. Scouts on you're here. telling me you don't hide the live chat while we do these games for complete authenticity, so you can't cheat. No, I'm. When I said these fuckers are gonna make uh, look it up, I meant you and Charlie. Oh fuck no! I don't do that. I don't, I don't play like you. that. <laughs> He's in, Andrew's immediately gonna say hey, the correct I'm, definition. I'm <laughs> <next gonna>, week. <laughs> As soon as the game starts. Welcome to the official podcast. Here's a stubby. <laughs> just start listing <laughs> Here's a stubby. Here's my stubby. Just flashes us. Um, yeah, man. No. Okay, Jackson, you gotta get a jingle. We, we can collaborate if you no, want. Uh, like the did you read? I got. So, I got. I got. I got so many messages last week, even from just the bonus of people saying, "Please don't do a jingle." We've got enough jingles. Oh fuck! Them. I agree. Fuck them. I agree. It's too many jingles. Yeah, Fuck it's you. starting to become I love like this a radio game. show. It's my favorite it's... Uh, game at this point. And Jackson, callers agree. They got calls. Uh, oh. The fat guys. I'm blanking on the name. <laughs> Those yeah, fat guys over there. More, man. You should be in second place. Andrew, I'm sorry this doesn't rate your mom. Charlie, you got flamingo legs, man. What? And Kaya, keep up the work, man. You're making the podcast fun and interesting. <laughs> I didn't mean anybody Two lazy fucks aren't doing shit to contribute. At least Jackson made a freaking game. Yeah. Thank you, Jackson. I don't, so, I don't know. You're welcome. This guy's a little late, I think, to the party. Jackson is no longer in second place. Or last place, or whatever. Charlie is. Charlie talks the least. Yeah, Charlie by far. I disagree with that. You haven't tallied it up since you chose two episodes out of, like, the 140. We, you didn't I even chose take from four. the last three. I chose one of the most recent four, and the one we did then. 
and you talked less despite trying to talk more, despite being <laughs> prompted to talk more. <laughs> That's on you, buddy. Not not us. I and disagree. Wh where's your game corner? What is your give us a corner here, Charlie? This whole podcast is becoming jingles and corners. It's no different than <laughs> Opie's radio show. We need to have regular so you, conversations so, like real so men. I know you've never listened to Opie because of what you just said. And Opie's show is exactly what you just said you would like it to be. It's literally Wait just a him taking a, Charlie... a handheld recorder, going to a bar and sitting down and it's the worst fucking shit because it has no structure and it's just him being racist in his friend's restaurant. I Wasn't could, I just Charlie the one asking podcast. for me to start my game as well though? Weren't you just asking for me to start the game now? Yeah, I like the game, but that doesn't mean I want yeah. five more games. Well, aren't we aren't we gonna run out of Australian slang eventually? I feel like Jackson's corner no, is. I can promise you. Really, I can promise. We're we're inventing new ones each day. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll have them as we go on. Don't worry. Let's invent one. What is what the, is a? Let's make up a, an Australian sounding word that just means something we want it to mean. Uh, bongly wongla. That's probably. Wow, I was I was gonna say bongly boing. <laughs> So, yeah, what, okay, um, I'm having a deja vu. We did this before. Something. We have an episode called the Lemnus Scoop, where we were trying to make up a word. You guys remember? Mm -hmm. Right. And we derived it from Lemniscate, which is the symbol for infinity, and scoop. To mean a Lemnus Scoop would then be, by definition, an endless scoop of ice cream. Which I think is kind of a cute word that uh, we made that's, up. No, that's, a, that's cute, but that reminds me of like a Discord thing. That's what Discord would do. Uh, they try to invent a, uh, an yeah. infinite you ruined hey, every, or something. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Wumpus here. We've got a lemnus scoop of new features coming in. Yeah, I don't like that, Kaya. I don't like that one bit at all. Uh, see, this, yeah, is just, the old this is like if you, you just ruined that cute word for me so hard. Because I know yeah, you're right, it does rude. sound discordish, yeah. so now it's like if you told me that Keanu Reeves is in the KKK, it's just fuck. I think I think what we I should do for known. the for the prosperity of the show is just delete the first forty episodes. First Hey, those are some of our best according to comments. Really? Shit, let's delete think... let's delete let's only leave up the most recent one episode. Yeah, you have to, you have to catch it before it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> it's limited. <laughs> oh, I like that limited edition podcast. That'd be cool. We should we should do that as an incentive. We put out an episode and we leave it up for like three days and then it's just gone. Except on patreon.com slash the official podcast where you can get the whole archive if you pay. Yeah, that's true. Including bonuses every week, every two weeks. Ugh. We've been mm. fucking on point with the bonuses. Um... Okay, what do you want to talk about? I have the, 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 the video games don't... Okay, uh, some guy scammed Amazon out of $370,000 by sending back boxes weighed with dirt instead of the returned product. So <laughs> <laughs> That's so classic. Wouldn't they catch him after the first time? Yeah. I don't understand so, how you could keep doing that. What a classic scam. The way it works that. is when you return a product or you just... If you don't pick up a, a box, let's say a delivery... Eventually, it'll get picked back up, sent back to Amazon, but it takes a couple of days, I suppose, for them to actually process it. But by then, you already have your money back. So this guy would get it, take out whatever it is he ordered, like a laptop, fill the <clears> box <throat> with dirt, the equivalent weight in dirt, <laughs> and return the box. And he made $370,000. He was caught. He was 22 years old, so now he owes Amazon all the money, I suppose. Has he started a GoFundMe yet? He started a company. The report said that Quartang, oh. the guy, eventually had such a substantial turnover that he ended up founding a limited company. <laughs> he turned it into a business. <laughs> we'll fill your Amazon packages with dirt, guaranteed. <laughs> yeah, what? He, he, he started a business based around scamming the biggest <laughs> company in the world. That's pretty bold. Yeah. Dude, they're going to come for you. They'll come for your fucking thumbs. Yeah, that... that that's probably like the one company I wouldn't recommend fucking with is Amazon. Yeah, dude, Jeff Bezos Who knows what they're capable of. is a man's man. I don't. I, I wouldn't fuck with that guy. Remember when somebody threatened, uh, they were blackmailing him with his nudes, <laughs> and he just went, "Come at me, bro! Release some bitch!" And he just fucking nuked. Yeah, he wants them to release it. <laughs> he nuked a newspaper. It was fucking amazing. That guy got balls. Actually, yeah. It, 
if you target fucking Amazon, I could definitely see Jeff Bezos directly like tracking you down. <laughs> Like, he, he wouldn't hire someone to do or anything. He'd be outside <laughs> your window <laughs> with Look a napalm grenade that he purchased off his how marketplace. Long, how long into the future are we going to be when Amazon evolves and we just have drones flying around with Bezos' face on them, just looking at people, challenging them to fights, calling them out on oh, shit? Oh, little Bezos. Yeah, the little Bezos are oh. at it again. E-drones. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. That is pretty cute, actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's cute, is uh, it? Well, something Discord would do. Did I ruin it for you? Nah, I don't no, think Discord wait, wouldn't, that wouldn't be cool be enough to do that. Yeah, I disagree. <laughs> yeah. Is the Bezos drone white or black? <laughs> oh, good question. <laughs> Depends on if it gets shot out of the sky. <laughs> Get shot out of the sky. <laughs> the cops plant a gun on it. <laughs> Sir, oh why God. did you why did you shoot that Amazon drone? Yeah. Oh, it was black. That was it. I saw it. It was and running done. right at me. He was gonna tackle me. <laughs> fucking drone. Oh, that is grand. Jesus, I can't believe that's a real story. People shooting black ro- black unarmed robots in a simulation. <laughs> I d- like that fucking guy. Dumbasses. We should run that. Simu- we should run that test on our audience. Like, get Robo Recall and mod it <laughs> so the robots are different races and see what our audience does. Oh, I well, our audience is somewhat young, at least on YouTube, I assume. So. I'm going to lean on the edgier side of the answer. Oh, there. YouTube. Yeah. Oh, oh, my God. The ones on YouTube, they would they would rape the black robots just for giggles. Um, have you guys heard about... So this is me bringing up gaming news that I haven't thoroughly researched in the hopes that you guys know about this to begin with. It's a game called Ooblets that just signed up for the Epic Game Store exclusivity deal. Yeah. And people are pissed yeah, off yeah, because yeah. their blog... Uh, their announcement of this apparently was a little condescending in tone towards oh, gamers. So oh, that's that's the game dev where they were they were going on like, oh, I can't buy it from the Epic Game Store, and his only response was, well, no one owes you a game. Uh, uh, he didn't he didn't no, even say that. I don't it was okay, more like, I'm thinking of something else. Then he was he was like talking down to the uh, his audience and saying like, oh, you can't you, you your small infant brain can't handle downloading uh, another. Is, launch or whatever it's not that i saw another one where there was a game that was exclusive to the epic game store and people went on the discord server and they were like oh i can't you know they don't accept my currency of my country i can't use epics for this and this one guy Uh, wrote like literally 10 paragraphs going i live in the czech republic and i can't use my internet for epic and this and that and his only response was no matter how much personal experience you have no one owes you a game (laughs) just really mean shit Man, I, is I really it like don't on like Twitter whole, or something. Uh, no, yeah, I saw is, the screenshots on Twitter, so that's where I saw yeah, it. Yeah, I'll put the thing in our in the chat of the our listeners here. But anyway, the, the blog post it reads: so the title is "We Did the Thing." First off, this is such a Reddit thing to do, and I hate it when people go, "I did a thing." Fucking stop it! You're not a child. Uh, we've signed for the Epic for we've signed with Epic for PC launch ex- exclusivity. What it means for Ooblets. Ooblets will be launching on PC through EGS. So what they did throughout is capitalize the word gamers, like the deaf people do, and put the trademark sign behind it to I guess poke fun at gamers, which is I don't know. That doesn't really piss me off. I mean that's funny. Avid that's, I think that's fine. That's funny if it's a joke. I mean, it reads like a joke, but also it's slightly salty. So, okay, let's hear. It's anti-consumer to have exclusives, and they're replying to this. This is the most common complaint about Epic, but I don't think people have really thought it through. I can understand the frustration, blah, blah, blah. It's also really disappointing to see folks threatening to pirate a game just because they can't get it on the game launcher they're used to. Feeling like you're owed the product of other people's work on your terms, or else you'll steal it, is the epitome of the word entitlement that people use to discuss immature, toxic gamers. I get the appeal of wanting to seek out things to get angry about. Venting anger is cathartic and natural. But let's have just a little perspective about what we decide to get angry about. Look at the things going on around you and ask yourself if there might be anything just a tad more worthwhile to be upset about. Here's just a few suggestions. Climate change. Human rights abuses. The new Twitter desktop UI. The last season of Game of Thrones. Agreed. Can we all so just I, come I, together and say that the argument your problems don't matter compared to other ones is the worst fucking thing that human culture can create? 
Just that that fucking it's that condescending argument that you see everywhere where people are like, oh, man, you know, I had a bad day. I skinned my knee. Today sucks. And they're like, oh, yeah, well, starving kids in Africa are working in sweatshops. So shut the fuck up. You think you have problems? I can't stand that shit. It's like people invalidating your suffering just because other people are suffering. I, OK, all but, I mean, so, well, well, that's what this <laughs> fucking post is all about. They're going, oh, you can't play our video game. Well, the ozone layer is being destroyed. <laughs> what do you think of that? <laughs> like, it's it's the most fucking condescending bullshit. Yeah. And I hate it. I wouldn't call it that's suffering. Fair, yeah. And I don't know why they used the last season of Game of Thrones as an example, because that's the exact same thing. It's a bunch of nerds getting upset at a fucking media thing. They didn't get the way they wanted it, which is this too. Just I didn't get this game the way I wanted. I didn't get that last season the way I wanted. That's a shitty suggestion for them to put on there. Yeah, it's it's just a shitty take all around. It doesn't identify the problem. Saying that someone shouldn't be upset because someone has it worse is like saying they shouldn't be happy because people have it better. So do people actually care about this this whole epic thing? I haven't. I, I don't know anything yeah, about yeah, this. actually. People really hate the Epic Games launcher, like Jeez. really hate it. Yeah, but isn't it good it's, that they're like funding indie games and get, getting it's them good out? That there's, Plus, it's good that there's competition, but the problem is compared to Steam, it's missing a lot of user convenience functionalities. Like how I mentioned earlier, I believe they only accept uh, major currencies. So if you live in a like a, a European country, there's a very good chance you just can't buy any games because they won't take your money. I'm not really a fan of exclusives or anything, but this really isn't that different to consoles having exclusives, PlayStation having certain exclusives, Xbox having exclusives. It's just a store buying exclusivity of certain games. It doesn't. I don't think it's that much of an issue. What is an issue, though, in my opinion, is when games like that come through Kickstarter or have already been announced uh, say that they'll be available through Steam, then people start backing that project and whatever... And then Epic snags them and like pays, I don't know, however much, uh, however much yeah, money to but... like grab exclusivity, and then they don't get their their Steam keys that they paid for initially. Okay, they're the scummy, but so then money. do people get pissed off at Epic or at the developer? Because as far as I'm concerned, Epic just sounds like the like a big fat money bags, Mister Money Bags investor who buys shit. That's what investors yeah. do. They buy yeah, shit no. so they can sell it. And if a developer does this, I think they deserve to get the shit, not the company paying them. I, I agree with yeah. that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. at the end of the day, a lot of people are bitching for petty reasons. I mean, there there's legitimate good reasons like the Epic Store doesn't offer this feature I need or doesn't do this or whatever. That's fine. But there are a lot of people out there complaining, going, no, I want all my games on Steam. I don't want to use more than one launcher. Oh, no. It was so nice when they were all on one store, but now I have to open two stores. Oh. Yeah, to That's be fair, the whole goddamn lot. launcher thing, I hit that age of the internet where that started, where you can't download anything anymore by itself. It's not just video games, it's everything. Yeah. Every company has its own launcher. I have to have 27 launchers on my desktop. That's to update a fucking app. But, That's okay, what, so um, this is something we might have to come to terms with. Apple is now... <laughs> Starting a program where they're uh, doling out exclusivity deals as well for podcasts. So they're thinking, we're going <gasps> to take the biggest podcasts, but they have to be on the Apple store only or the Apple we accept. podcasting thing only. Are you telling me we got offered an exclusivity contract, Kyle? No, we're fucking nobodies. But I'm saying, how much money would it take oh. for us to sell the fuck out and get go with Apple? <laughs> how much? Uh... How hmm. much are they realistically offering? Yeah, exactly. It's the richest company on the planet. I don't know what they're offering. I'm saying, what is our price? Go what do you guys think we could hold? Yeah. No, no, we could hold out for more, I think. Okay, I, okay. I, I say 15. we shoot. No, we shoot for the stars. I'm saying like a, a three-year, three year $5 million deal or something. Oh. We could definitely hold out. Oh, hmm. God, that's so, that sounds so hot. Fuck. <laughs> it would be a dream. <laughs> That turned me on steamy. sexually. <laughs> plus, plus, they have to hook us up with like all the celebrities that they know through the Apple endorsements. Oh, and then fuck we get yeah. To, oh, yeah. I don't think they do in, that. In, that, that, that would like, actually be a yeah, good thing would. to negotiate with. Apple can have us for the money in the contract, but they also have to like bump us up, like give us gear, provide us with talent. Give us an editor I mean, and a, ooh, a mixer that, that's, and all that uh, shit. That's what the money is Tim for. Tim Cook has to make us a specific phone as well. Yeah. The, uh, the official we, phone. Uh, we get we get like the jingles. <laughs> okay. re, we get we get the jingles redone by like Kid Cudi and shit. 
That'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want that, but sure. <laughs> Justin Bieber jingle. Oh. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Shit, that would be awesome. Yeah, I don't know. So from what I understand, doesn't Apple Podcasts still at the end of the day give you an RSS feed? Uh, I mean, yeah, I no anyone idea. could use still then keep using their own podcatchers. Right, I guess the only difference yeah. would be we couldn't upload it on YouTube, Spotify, and what's the other one? SoundCloud. Oh shit! I guess it would also include Patreon. Ah, uh, well, you know, at three million dollars, no, they don't have to know about that. We don't need to shake down patrons if we get five million dollars or whatever. Yeah. Uh, so should we do the what? What do we have left? The game show? Uh, game how show far are we quiz, in? Er, quiz show and things we like. Yeah, yeah we're. Yes. Uh, okay. Um. Ah, oh, damn it, I wanted to talk about how we could get more female listeners. What, what, Wait, what, uh, do I? Mm. No, because the caller started out with this one. Okay, so... Hey, fellas. Uh, it's me here, Reese from the U.S., a uh, very rare female listener to the official podcast. Wow, wow. Oh. Uh, wow! I, See, I feel like an incel I love now. You boys and I love <laughs> you, Doug and Anthony, but... She loves me more though. I love you because you're some of the most annoying bastards I've ever fucking met. Like, sometimes <laughs> hearing your commentary can piss me the hell off. And I'm glad that it does that and it makes me happy. So thank also, you very though, much. I qualify as a snowflake, 100%. And I think all the fucking politics shit is bullshit. Like, Kaya, your opinions are fine. I love you. I know you don't need to hear uh, it. So, taken in reverse order... If you enjoy opinions that you don't agree with, you're not a snowflake. But the most important part, you, you, did you hear the giggle in her voice at the beginning? Like, I'm the very, very rare official podcast female listener. How can we get our female listenership up? Charlie, you have the statistics, right? Like analytics. What percentage of our people listening uh, it's like are, 10%. are girls? No, it's, it's, more, it's more than that. It's, I think it's in its 30s. I feel I'll, like it's no, more. I, real quick. I interact real with quick. far more uh, on Discord and shit. People messaging me. Oh, okay, so Charlie, when you look though, you have to make sure you look only at the analytics of one podcast, not your whole channel. I know. I can go okay. video by video. All right, Arion, please hold. Let's see how we can be more. <laughs> please, <laughs> please what clap. is the word for it? Inclusive? No. Gender neutral. Uh, horny. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, fuck, I horny. want groupies. <laughs> Hashtag me too. Maybe we, because <laughs> literally, maybe we should, because because uh, women love this, we should make a corner called like the sensitivity corner and we only talk about stereotypical women things. Oh, that's such a stereotype. Yeah, that's it is. Up, yeah. You, just, you yeah. just lost us. <laughs> Some women. Damn it. There, goes, there goes that female audience. I guess that's why they don't listen. <laughs> All right, never mind, boys. I've got some bad news. <laughs> it's literally like negative three percent. Oh, this is a this is a yucky one. However, this is the recent episode, which is what's happened to our hentai. Our primary yeah. audience is at a forty-seven percent, eighteen to twenty-four, thirty-two percent, twenty-five to thirty-four, ninety-five point five percent male. <laughs> All right, do Ooh. me do me a favor though, because that that title is about porn. Look for a more yeah. innocuous episode, like a guest or something. Okay. Uh, also, oh, so now like, you're saying uh, girls don't look at porn, Andrew. Hang on, on. Let's, you Jackson, can't stop with these stereotypes. Let's be honest: the vast majority of hentai consumers is men. Yeah, of course, oh, the vast majority of poor consumers you. are. But, Jackson, can you look at our megaphone stats? Because that's sure. audio only. Yeah, this is just going to be the stat show. I'm thinking YouTube, a, a whole lot more people, like, I think YouTube was way more male-centric than, that's say, also, audio in well, general. So I'd be well, interested well, other, to see what our audio podcast analytics are. Well, the other thing is that Charlie's channel, in general, is a lot more male-centric. I think I have a very sensitive side. You can you can check the analytics See, now and you're prove being yourself right or wrong. Sexist. <laughs> you literally have the data to prove whether or not that's true. <laughs> yeah, the, the, I, I got some bad news, boys. I looked at the last <laughs> five episodes. It, it wavered between ninety four percent male and ninety seven percent male. <laughs> <laughs> so I, is that because I will women? admit I am not surprised in any way. <laughs> Neither am I, but you know, I I have to act a little surprised to save my pride. Jackson, so, did you look at the megaphone thing? 
Uh, yeah, it's about the same. I'm <laughs> <to say>. Don't <laughs> lie. <laughs> I'm not lying. It's it's about the same. What? What? Give me a number. Six <laughs> percent. Okay, so is it because we call we call ourselves and we refer to everyone as the official boys? Uh, no, is that exclusion? Yeah, Kaya, it goes it goes back to the fucking age argument. Are you really surprised that our vast majority of audience is male when we talk about jacking off and shit all the time? Women love jacking off. Okay, let's talk about wait, female wait a masturbation. Second. All right, let's let's. Can we just put this into perspective? Two hundred thousand listens. Um, that's being generous as well. Uh, what what's six percent of that? I don't know. Five women. <laughs> well, five percent uh, would be ten thousand, so six percent is probably like twelve point five thousand. It's thirty three thousand, apparently. What? Or did I do that backwards? Uh, it's twelve thousand. Yeah, six, exactly. No, wait, yeah, you did it backwards. <laughs> yeah, it's like twelve thousand. He didn't do it backwards, you just did it wrong. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I took a guess. Yeah, it's 12,000. I'm just saying... I, well, that's still a lot of women. No, I, I, I bet Justin Bieber doesn't think that's a lot of women. I bet he has millions. Yeah, we... I bet Joe Rogan well, even has okay, a very wait. strong female audience. So what's the... Oh, you what's know he the, does. All right, let me, let, me, let me play devil's advocate here. Why do we care... Why do we want Whoa, more? Whoa, we care about women. That's you just don't Andrew. care about women, Andrew? Sounds, what the fuck? It sounds dude. like you guys are trying to fuck the audience. <laughs> Get a load of this whoa, homo, whoa, whoa. Right? <laughs> <laughs> It's like, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just playing devil's advocate. No, obviously it doesn't care, and I mean, matter, Andrew. That's true. Obviously it doesn't matter. Right. It's just an interesting talking point. Fair enough. I think we should have a... Female themed month of f official podcast. <laughs> oh, so when, when I week. make that joke, everyone says, No, that's a terrible idea. Stop. You've lost us. But when Charlie makes it, it's the no. best. Fuck what? you. No, but Charlie said I, I, something. He only said we should make an episode or something about females. You literally said we should make something sensitive with painting fingernails or something. I said we yeah, should I just have a corner Andrew. of female stereotypes as a joke. And then Charlie said we should have an entire month dedicated to women. <laughs> Okay, I, so, joke, Andrew. I think it's fair. I like Charlie's idea. It would be like Black History Month on our podcast with women. Wait, what percentage of our audience is black? Charlie, can you check? <laughs> <laughs> Do people have to give... tell you? <laughs> yeah, does Google ask you what race <laughs> yeah. you are on site? <laughs> that would I don't be think they up. have that kind of data. Uh, okay, so let's try this. The roasting competition. I extra encourage every female listener to please call in and roast us. <laughs> Kaya gets off to it, please. Call <laughs> in. This, I, I, I've, I've, I've said this a few times, but I think that this oh, yeah. podcast is Kaya slowly trying to get his fetishes out in the open and trying to get people to play into them. Did we want to briefly mention that uh, Ninja has left Twitch? I felt like that was pretty big news that we should have touched on at least. Oh yeah, once that's this that's week. also exclusivity. He left for Microsoft's Mixer for almost a billion bucks. Good Where do you get him. that yeah. number from? Wait, did you get that? Did you get that number? Because no one's reported on that yeah. number yet. Yeah, it, it was like nine hundred fifty-three million dollars or something. Really? Oh, Holy no, 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 no! Where did you get that from? Because I read that same thing, and it started from a parody Twitter account. Where yeah. did you get that it from? Yeah, yeah. Uh, conservative estimates say it was six to eight million. No, that's also wrong. Or no, I'm reading. Yeah, I'm reading an older thing. Never people, mind. people were saying that it was making two to three million dollars a month from Twitch alone. A hundred percent plus YouTube. He wouldn't have taken that kind of deal unless it was like twenty to fifty million, which is what most like. The, I would assume more than that. Uh -uh. I, I would assume more than that. Most people say between twenty thinking, and fifty. I was gonna say around a hundred, but okay. Or maybe he's given he's been given like a fifty percent share in Microsoft stuff. <laughs> it's like crazy. I take it. <laughs> yeah, stock options. That'd be fucking nuts. You, uh, when can we that, start? It's pretty fucking crazy though that Microsoft can just grab like another platform's biggest star and just like kidnap them. Basically, well, not kidnap them, but like take. Them. When do you think we'll start? That's pretty being crazy. able to invest in people. Because it, you think you could like put stock in Ninja, and then he makes this switch and it goes down, but then you see how well he's doing on it and goes back up. Is there a way you can do that? That's like owning people, Andrew. There's I notice a common theme with you wanting to. 
Look, all, all I'm saying is, and maybe I'm a forward thinker, <laughs> if we force <laughs> people to do the work... <laughs> And we don't pay them anything. It's brilliant. Yeah, if we force people to do the work, we can get a lot done around here. (laughs) So much of this episode's going to have to be cut. No, keep it in. I don't give a shit. What the fuck are you going to cut? Yeah. I'm not cutting anything. My God, Uh, cut out the jokes? The obvious jokes? About how slavery's bad because it's great? Yeah, let's just have the uh, jingles in there that won't be offensive. Yeah, I can't see a a fucking number. I guess that was just a troll account or something. I just yeah, believe that. Fuck. I mean, it's plausible. The guy makes so much it's goddamn money. It's not plausible. Yeah, a it is. billion dollars for him to stream on a platform? Absolutely not. You know how? Do you know how much money that guy makes from fucking twelve year olds who steal their dad's credit cards? It's that guy's yeah, gonna make the oodles of money. Yeah, he makes two to three million dollars a month. Let's say he streams for thirty fucking years, and it's he's not still just not even about, close to a billion. Yeah, it's it's not just about what he makes, Charlie. It's also the fact that m- people now know what the fuck Mixer is, which no one did until yesterday. That's a good point. That's a good point. They're trying to compete with Twitch, that's which definitely is I, in that. That's still not worth a billion. Yeah, it's definitely uh, not a billion, but it 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 may be up to maybe a hundred million ish. I, I say, look, you I say that, that, but that keep in mind, hundred. Microsoft bought fucking Minecraft for almost two billion, two and a half or something. I mean, they that's those, a product though. Yeah, so that is Ninja. a company too. So is that's Ninja. True. Ninja Ninja yeah. is in 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 and of himself like a whole brand. That's fair. Mm-hmm. Not to the I I don't think he's to so the same level that's as Minecraft. What I'm, not that, even close. That's what I'm saying. When can we invest in people? Like if we look at Ninja as a brand and a product, can we invest in him as a person? Because that's how the digital celebrity age is turning people into. Yes, Andrew, you can head over to his channel and subscribe on Mixer. That's Jesus, not what I'm yeah, you about can have your auction. auction. Mix, mix, mix a no, bits. I'm talking about fucking Jeez. returns. You just want to give him money. I, okay, yeah, that's right. I'm only asking because I'm a big Ninja fanboy, and I just want to. I don't think subbing and donating is enough. I want to put them at a Fortune 400 company. Fortune 500. Whatever. Is it a Fortune 100? No. Fortune wait. 500, 500, I believe. 200? Oh, okay. <laughs> One dollar. Fortune 40? <laughs> Fortune... Are we... I wonder if we're... What is what, it? I wonder where Fortune we 500. rank overall globally as a podcast. Uh, listenership. I Pretty... Give us a fortune. A lot lower than we'd think, I'd say. Yeah, me too. I, but I, I can oh, think pretty low. I, I, think, I can think pretty, pretty low. low. So. <laughs> so, no, because yeah. I heard the stats that every month there's 7,000 new podcasts and that overall at this point there's like 600,000 or something of them out there. Oh, wow. But, but so here's the thing. That only we, puts we numbers. must be much higher. No, that only puts numbers on the bottom. Think about it. If we're 100,000, if we're in 100,000th place, any new podcast you add is going to be put below us. We're not going to go up. Yeah, but I'm just saying we have to be okay. So then, not speaking in absolute numbers, but in percentiles, we have to be in top one percent. Oh, 1%. then yes, yes, yes. Percentiles, absolutely, were were a big deal. But in we terms are the one percent. No, oh, yeah. You hear that, everyone? Yeah. Well, I decided to look it up because I got pretty goddamn curious <laughs> myself. According to Chartable. We're the number four podcast on Spotify for games, so I don't know if this is accurate. For games? Yeah. Yeah, we talked uh, about well, worms. Yeah. We it's talked fair. about video games a month ago, I think. Man, how uh, does Char- where does Chartable get all this data from? This is actually pretty robust. I have no idea. I assume Spotify uh, it gets it from our audio API platform. Or? Yeah. Huh. How do you, yeah. how do you Are we really number this four is... in podcast for United States games on Spotify? I'm trying to look I it up, so, but yeah. holy shit, yeah. Well, wow. I'm not in the United Whoa, States, Jackson. but for oh, Germany. Yeah, uh, holy shit. In Germany, Whoa, we what? are number what? 13. Yeah. Uh, and then for Spotify on comedy for America, we're number 13. Oh, that made me sad. Apple. No, it's globally. <laughs> that's really that's like a <laughs> really? What? Yeah, that's Are you a, kidding me? That's a global You just said ranking. America. You just said US, though. Well, yeah, yeah well, you did okay, say Across US. America. That, okay, so well, Charlie still. thinks America is the whole world. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I misspoke. I misspoke. To be fair. You know what, you know what I meant. Like 99% of our audience is in America easily. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, yeah. so how about this? What Jesus, there's a World of Warcraft lore talk pot. Jesus Christ, whatever. How about this? We do the next episode and we pander the shit 
out of the <laughs> gamers. We just we talk Fortnite, World of Warcraft, oh, yeah. whatever the kids Ooh. play these days. In a crusade, and to then get we the lure them in. So I like we, that. Yeah, we get we get the number one spot. We gradually over the episode then move towards our usual shtick. So towards the end of the episode, so we hook them at the start with the gamer talk, and then towards the end we do the usual thing about black robots getting shot. Boys, I don't I don't care what the next episode is about. I don't give a shit what we talk about. Our thumbnail and opening discussion should be about ninja. Just just get yes. it in there. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, ninja, yeah. ninja in a Fortnite skin or something. In fact, put it on this one too, since we talked about him moving to Mixer for like half a minute. No. Uh, people are gonna be mad if we don't yeah, talk about I don't, it. I don't want to okay, do that. Fair. So I think this one's title should be point of privilege because I love that term. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, next next week's episode, no, we need to open with discussion on Ninja. Doesn't matter if he even did anything and use him for the thumbnail. That I think okay. that'll work. Wow. Our our global rating, like this isn't just US, but our global rating is a 4.9 out of nearly 4,500 ratings on chart on, on what? Uh, I think it's across Apple reviews. It, it's, yeah, that's an amalgamation of all of them. Okay, all oh, is the it? Reviews cool. Yeah, it's, platforms. it's reviews gotcha. from Spotify reviews, Apple reviews, all that stuff. Thank you, everyone, for the nice reviews, though. Yeah, it's really sweet. That's really high, yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, let's check out the misfits and then feel bad about ourselves. Uh, yeah, okay, so it turns out, Andrew, <laughs> when you have a dozen, a literal dozen very famous oh YouTubers, God. it does better. It does oh better than a podcast God. with one YouTuber the, and boys, three nobodies. <laughs> boys, we found our competition. The number one gaming podcast in America is The Misfits. <laughs> no! Oh. <laughs> I reiterate, they, they have literally 20 famous YouTubers on their show. We have one. What the fuck is the point of doing this show? I quit. <laughs> well, hey, this might make you feel a little better, Jackson. We're one rank higher than Super Mega, two over Rooster Teeth, and five over dude soup. Ha! Jackson, Wait, you wanted really to work for them. Rooster teeth? You wanted Where to work you work for them guys that used their uh, you, uh, rooster teeth. Where do you see this? I'd love to I mean, I'd love to see this. Who's the king now, Jackson? Rank history. Jackson, I'm sorry, Jack Char you gave Charlie and I shit for us giving you shit about you wanting to work at Rooster Teeth. Could we get an apology since we're now bigger? More famous. <laughs> now that we've eclipsed eclipsed them? Yeah. Well, now that I now that we're bigger, I can ask for more money from Rooster Teeth. Perhaps we'll see. <laughs> Not a bad point. Maybe there'll be a bit of negotiation on the board. <laughs> Great. But we're trying to get bought by Apple, which means that's yeah, bad. We, we need... should be trying to get acquired by Spotify. Yeah, really. Yeah. Oh, they do? We should be getting Spotify into the networking in business. Us. Is what I'm thinking. See, this is even though there's so many out there already podcasts. That's a good sign. This is the gold rush. We need to create a network those podcasting networks make our own just like spotify and apple mm, yeah, they're getting like on it there's clearly money in it rooster teeth has their own and it's one of the biggest in the business and they're two below us what are we doing yeah <laughs> there's money on the table it's so easy we but should. first we need the females we should <laughs> <laughs> we need the ladies the to it. <laughs> oh imagine if we evened it out to 50 percent females we'd be number one. Oh my god it, you're right well, actually, where are we in the makeup category? Would we be? <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. I mean, female, like humans still just count as one human, Jackson. That's still just one download. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm saying if we double our female audience, that's at least another like 33,000 people. Oh, okay. So what, but, okay. So what if though, there's a lot of sexists in our audience and they tune out like, oh, fuck this. They, they, they like women. I'm out. What then? Well, well, we then, don't want them. Yeah, we definitely don't want that here in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> we want everyone to feel welcome. Exactly. Take us to the top. <laughs> well, right, on do you want to send uh, us out, boys? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah let's do. Oh, we send don't even, us out. Fuck you. Uh, we've been going for like uh, things we 35. like. Hey, oh no! Wait, hey, hang, wait. Do, uh, what up? Everyone, shut up, Andrew. Set up your clip here. Oh, okay. Uh, so. It's a series, get a point if you get the series, and then if you get the series, you get a chance at a bonus for naming the specific instance. We know how yep, it works. Same as, same as all the others, nothing special about this one. All right, here's a clip that he wants you to guess. Devil May Cry. Oh, uh, Kaya got it. <laughs> I, oh, I thought it was too obvious. I found it funny that you guys were talking Devil May Cry earlier. <laughs> Uh, I right. thought it was way too and obvious. And Kaya for the extra point. Was that from the Shut one? up, Jackson. 
You can't help him. I want to know. You can't help him. It's uh, his oh, guess. I can't help him? Kaya, which devil may okay. cry is that from for the extra point? <laughs> I don't fucking know. It just sounded like Comedy Christ is it from. Take a, take a guess. Take the a one guess. with Dante? No, sorry. Damn it, it is from. It is. Jackson was right. It is the newest one, Devil May Cry 5. I fucking knew it. Oh, well. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice coincidence. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Charlie. I mean, Do Charlie I get the point should, maybe Charlie I should get an assist point on this as well because him asking me about what song I was put it in my head. Yeah. Hey, I got the correct uh, game. I deserve a point too. Give us each a point. Okay, no. but Kaya gets three points then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Kaya won. I don't care about these these fanatical little happenstance. Kaya got it right. That's how it works. That's the game. The end. Yes. Thank you. God, I'm such pro at these jingle games. Yeah, Speaking of, pretty good. they might seem like cynical dicks, so they're going to throw oh. this into the mix. Just so you don't think they're dead inside, it's the things we like corner. So one day I'm gonna stretch that jingle out to 10 times the length, modulated and shit, us. just to fuck yeah. with you guys. <laughs> yeah, Alright, let's awful. roll. Jackson. Um, so. My laptop died this week. My my razor blade from 2013. So I don't like that. That's not what I like this this week. But what I do like is this uh, cute little Huawei MateBook laptop replacement that I got. That's it's, oh, it's a fantastic yeah. laptop. Oh, I have it's that. Uh, I have that same laptop. It's fucking great. It's got We're the little. It is fucking amazing. It's got the can webcam we a, and the keyboard, right? I'm sorry, Jackson. Can we do a sorry? retake? Your Dumping on the gamer brands, and you know what we're trying to do here. So, could you please oh, praise oh, Razor? Oh, um, oh. Yeah, so I, I recently broke my Huawei mate. <laughs> uh, <laughs> my family for five or six years. Very tragic. But then uh, Razor reached out to me and said, We love your show. Us gamers here at Razor love your so show. So, we'll replace your Huawei with another Huawei that show. you can talk yeah. about. <laughs> no, 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 no. So, so, they gave me a Razor Blade Stealth Pro. <laughs> Extra large edition, 4K screen, beautiful screen with a Huawei skin. Been putting in the sick, yeah. but, but, it, but that's a great that. laptop, Jackson. But getting some sick. But can we talk about Fortnite. your Huawei? I'm curious. Like, can we talk about it? The one that <laughs> broke. broke. Like, what, what did you like about that one? <laughs> I liked everything about it. It was it was pretty much the perfect laptop. I'm sad that that's it broke. that's the one with the the lap or the the webcam and the keyboard, right? Where it's in a little key. No, no, no. That's that's the that's the older model. Oh, I you got, got the, the newer. Uh, oh, you fucker. That's the one yeah. I have. It's still great. It's, it, I looked up the specs and everything is like the same exact thing. Just the webcams up the top yeah. this time. It's they're great. They are. I can corro uh, corroborate with yeah, Jackson. The, the only issue, the only issue I have with it, and this is a slight little issue, just a, you know, just a little thing, just a laptop thing. Uh, the company is involved in a massive spying effort against the <laughs> oh, American yeah. democracy. <laughs> just one and small they're, they're hiccup. They've now outlawed. Yeah, let them, yeah They've the, now outlawed the, the, the CEO's laptop daughter was company. arrested in Canada on spying charges. Yeah, yeah, just a little minor issue. stuff. So I don't know how much support there is going to be for this company now. If I'm going to be able to get replacement parts or anything, so that's yeah, something. But other than that, it's like a perfect piece of machinery. I love it. Last I checked, Google had to ban Android from their phones because of all the yeah, spying sanctions good. that it's not the US good. put on the company. But I'm just happy to support a new company. New. I think you have they, to support they are a not new agent. at all. They are not new at all, Jackson. They actually yeah. started by making Apple knockoffs. I'm just happy to support a new and starting but company. To give them credit recent humble ambitions. To give them credit in recent years, they've tried to branch out into actually making their own reputable stuff. And as someone who also owns a Huawei laptop, they're really nice. I like mine a lot. I really couldn't I really couldn't care less if they're spying on people. This piece of machinery. Well, who is isn't? Good. Who every piece of technology yeah. you own now is spying on you in some degree. Yeah. I yeah. mean, if it's a Chinese or Google, who cares? You can all right, try Andrew, all you want. You'll literally never leave the botnet. Uh, my current answer is a game. Wow, that was dark. It's true, though. <laughs> my current answer is a game called 60 Seconds. It is a it, so it's an indie game and it's like on Steam and it's $15 and it just now got a big major overhaul called Reatomized, which added a bunch of content and a bunch of new stuff to it. The best way I can sell this game is it's a choose-your-own-adventure roguelike. 
So you you do runs, you get one life. If you die, it's permadeath. But the gameplay is literally a choose your own adventure like, oh, this thing just happened. Do you go this way or do you do this? And then you do the consequences of that. Oh, you have to fight off bandits. Do you have the axe or the gun? No? Okay, I guess you, they kidnap one of your party. It's so well, it's just so good and addictive and well done. And every time, because it's every single turn is a day. Because the whole point is that it's nuclear war and you're surviving with your family in a bunker. And it's just so goddamn tense because every time the day ends, it just fades to black and then fades back in. And you have to see the consequences of your actions. Like if one of your family members is just suddenly fucking dead on the floor or missing or what the fuck. And it's it's really well done. It sound pretty it's cool. a great game. I've put a bunch of hours into it. It also has a sequel called 60 Parsecs, which is you're on a space station during the nuclear war. So you do like a bunch of globe exploring and shit. But uh yeah 60 seconds it's on steam it's really really good if you like roguelikes where you can just grind out a bunch of games or you dig the whole kind of 1960s cold war aesthetic that kind of you know like do your part to save america like that kind of shit then i highly recommend it there you go all right i'm gonna say baki the grappler it's that netflix anime it's narratively a disaster it has <laughs> I, probably the worst writing i've ever seen in any show and it's i don't what? say that lightly baki it's a narrative disaster yeah baki the grappler it the story makes absolutely no fucking sense at all there's nothing good from a writing perspective in even the slightest way and even the fights aren't even that good it's usually just like one still image of a punch but there's <laughs> just something so charming about that show I, I can't put it into words. It's just it has something about it that makes it fun. I have it is. Go ahead. Passion. I, I've watched yeah, I a I uh, episode of two or two with him, and it, he's right. It's it's so stupidly dumb and fun and great. Like red line. There's, dumb? there's no. Uh, well, I won't hey. give a lot away, but there's a scene where a character <laughs> where a where a character. Charlie, in a car. they're going. Hey. <laughs> well, Charlie doesn't talk during these anyway. <laughs> No, no. Charlie, I meant you? When when uh, when Jackson insulted Redline, Charlie went, "Hey, uh, I didn't uh, insult it." There's a Jackson. No, he said it's, a scene. it's fun, stupid. Redline wasn't fun, stupid. It was just yeah. kind of fun. It wasn't yeah. badly made. It was there, fun. There's a it scene was, Jackson fun, in Baki where a character named Biscuit Oliver is in a car, and he remembers he has an appointment to meet. So he just on, while they're on the highway, just kicks open the door and jumps out the fucking car <laughs> while it's going. And, like, these aren't, like, superheroes or anything. They're just big, strong men. So, it's a great show. It's just really dumb. Like, super fucking dumb. Like, nothing that happens makes sense. Like, <laughs> I, I honestly can't put it into words. Like, there was an entire scene in a recent episode where some giant mafia man comes up to Baki while he's hanging out with his girlfriend and says, do you want to fuck other girls better than her? And he says no, and he's like, are you sure? He says yes, and then he walks away. That was the whole scene. <laughs> Is Baki the one whose muscles look like a mean face? Yeah, that's everyone in the show. Oh, okay. Yeah, everyone, everyone in that show oh, is hmm. is just stupid, stupid, ripped. No, this is... We'll figure out why Charlie likes it, then. It's a good show. <laughs> I don't blame him at all. It's a good show. Kaya, can you please say something that I, too, have partaken in so we can I can have a full, a full relatability? for this corner uh you haven't i mean it's something Fuck. so i'm gonna use my part for some self-promotion and my trademark loading speaking of anime you guys know that stereotypical anime arc where you know season one the good guy defeats the villain but then the villain becomes friends with the good guy and then turns out that the the guy who used to be the villain is actually a super strong fighter himself and he's noble and amazing carl reviewed us and made fun of us this week again again I will no, he, he made fun of us, and over the you know course of time, we became buddies. I co-hosted his show a couple of times. This week, I will be hosting his show without him. Doug and I are doing his show the first time in Who Are These Podcasts history. I'm really excited. I'm going to be representing the whole official army here, the 96% of men and the 4% of girls out there. I hear ya. <laughs> I'll make sure to be inclusive, but your boy's going to be hosting Who Are These Podcasts without Carl, with Doug, and 
I think we picked a perfect fucking podcast to review, man. This is called something, it's called Wine and Crime, and it's about these guys who get drunk, one of them has a lisp, they talk about true crime, but in this extremely politically correct way. And here's a clip I want you guys to laugh at, and I know we will. At least you will like it. And I think I should also point out, too, that I am a disabled person, and I deal with ableism and internalize ableism mm -hmm. all the time. So it's not just because mm -hmm. I'm disabled and I'm talking about it, and I'm trying to combat it. It doesn't mean that I also don't deal with it. Mm -hmm. So it's everywhere, and it, doesn't all, it, it also doesn't mean that it's a bad thing. I think we're all ableist, just like we're all racist, and we're all, mm -hmm. so we're all these things. Misogynist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. all internalized. Absolutely. It's a product of our society, and you can be aware of it, and you can work to improve it. Um, but on some level, it's in, it's inherent in all of us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's like skincare. You got to regularly exfoliate. <laughs> <laughs> We're all racist. We're all misogynist. Ha, ha, ha. He's all disabled. Ha, ha. We're oh, all ableist. We're Thank you. Thank you for pointing out the point of privilege. <laughs> I'm, we're going to be reviewing this. I am so excited. This sounds like such a shit show, and apparently it's popular for some reason. I don't know why. Where are we on true crime? Uh, ranked. What's true crime? Oh, I know what true crime is, but what do you Wait, mean ranked on true like Is in, it a category? Yeah. I have no probably fucking idea. Not yeah. Probably not high at all. So okay, if so, you want to, hmm. if you want a real ranking, though, we are number two in Lithuania, boys, and that is that is also our who the fuck's beating that, us? There? Yeah, that's also our highest ranking anywhere. So that's the one audience we're directly talking. Yeah. So is, is that the shout out to Lithuania? The, is that the country where they have a ripoff of our podcast? I'd be bombed if they were first. No, that no, was no. Denmark, I think. Oh, okay. Anyway, about shout the, out to Lithuania. Mystery. Norway. <laughs> So about the true crime thing, I was thinking I could pull a couple of sound effects and clips and we could have ourselves like a little murder mystery game. That's one of the ideas I wanted to do on the show. Like I set up the game as the dungeon master or whatever they're called. And you guys have to <laughs> that's, slowly that's make your idea. way like to that. find who the murderer is. I do like that. That's a good idea. Yeah, I like that. That's cute. Okay, I was skeptical. That would skeptical. definitely skyrocket. Yeah, that would skyrocket us on the gaming yeah, section. That, uh, okay, uh, I was skeptical what, about the uh, idea, imagine, but if you're on board, I'll I'll get it oh, on the way. Imagine though how we could sell it. It's not. Oh, they don't talk about video games on the podcast. Their podcast has a video game in it. Ooh, <laughs> they'd fucking love it. They'd eat it up. I wish there was some sort horror of horror mystery audience participation that we could use during that to. I don't roll the dice on random events or something, but yeah, okay. So if you guys are on board, I'll try to get that set up. For sure, <laughs> sounds good. Sounds good. All right, alrighty. Thank you for listening to this week's episode of the official podcast. Head on over to our Patreon, patreoncom slash podcast for more bonuses. Oh, like the last bonus that we did had my uh, Australian game show. So if you like the one that was in this episode, you can go listen to that one over at the Patreon. Our bonuses uh, are yeah, fucking thanks, fire. If I do Thank say you. so myself. Thank you very much to everyone listening in Lithuania. Shoutouts to Vilnius, greatest city I've Thank ever you. known. No, no, no. Thank you to all the women listening to this. Thank you. First and foremost, I would like you to be more vocal in the community. Make yourselves known. <laughs> Let people know that this is now a female-friendly podcast. Except for Andrew, who hates you. But, yeah. Uh, so I, I, I gotta be honest. Show, I, I, I hate women because I'm all for unitary semi-presidential republic governments. Like uh, my boys in Lithuania are rocking. Love it. Love it. One of my favorite things. Keep it up, guys. I'm for the People's Democratic Republic of North Korea, except with women at the top. Uh, all right. Well, hope you enjoyed this show that is almost two hours long. Uh, oh, my God. All right. <laughs> See everyone. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye in Lithuania. Bye.